already saw Paula. I did. Love the red. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Love the red. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We continue our celebration of Shabbat, this gift of time. It's an, it's an interesting day because it is the 17th of Tammuz, the Shvasari Tammuz, the beginning of the three weeks, but it really can't begin today because it's Shabbat, so we'll let it begin tonight after Shabbat. But if you feel a little bit of heaviness in the air, um, know that it's the time of year. You know it's the time... <coughs> It's the time of year when um, we give ourselves over to remembering um, the destruction, the breach of the walls of the temple, and, and what that meant for us to live for three weeks until the temple was destroyed. And then to take that Tish Abba Av, that ninth of Av, that saddest day of the Jewish year, and put every sadness that we've had just on that day. <laughs> it's kind of convenient, right? So that we don't, you know, we, we, we know that we can make space for joy, uh, enough space for joy, but not unless we take time to mourn. So we are in an in-between time, between this um, time when we, you know, celebrate each day, take time to stop on Shabbat, to renew and then we'll take these three weeks to give ourselves over to mourning and to grief. Not all the time, but enough so that when it's over, we really are ready to begin the ascent to a new year. So really, Rosh Hashanah, the preparation for the new year, begins now. Because we can't celebrate a new year unless we've done our work of letting go. So, but this Shabbat gives us such a wonderful teaching, the, the story of the prophet Bil'am. Was he a prophet? Was he a sorcerer? Oh, did he manage to make the magic of turning curses into blessings? Or was it something that we inspired? So thanks for showing up this morning here in person. Thanks for being with us um, virtually. We know that uh, COVID is on the rise again. Hmm? There's a camera there. There's a camera there. I, I never know which camera, but we know that somebody's managing this. I don't know if it's Ezra or Autumn today, but they're, thank goodness for our our people who, who make sure that we can be as inclusive as we can be in so many ways. So um, let's begin. Let me teach us What? I'm going to teach a melody. Okay. Jim's going to teach a melody. You know, the reason that this melody is so relevant, I imagine, is because... The book that we study on Tish Abba Av is Echa, Lamentations. And what are we lamenting? We're lamenting the destruction of Jerusalem. You know, she becomes 
not just a city, but she becomes a presence in our lives, a light, a beacon, and her light goes out for a moment. But we never stop loving her. We never stop longing for her, right? It's a song of longing. Longing. <clears throat> a melody. A Sephardic melody. Ya da di, ya da da da. Page 52. <coughs> What's the tune? What? What's the tune? Not Why don't you tell the story? So here's the story. It's the story of this week's Torah portion. Whoever this guy is, Bilam, prophet, sorcerer, something holy, something out of the ordinary, but he doesn't see everything, and his, his donkey does somehow. He has this trusted donkey that he's been traveling with, and the donkey leads him off the road, and he beats him three times. And finally, the donkey says, what gives? All these years, we've worked together, we've walked together, and now you're beating me? Well, why'd you run me off the road? He says, open your eyes, big shot prophet. 
open your eyes and look. And he stops for a moment. He slows down because, you know, the king Balap has hired him to curse the people of Israel. And he's on his way and he's hurrying. And he thinks he knows what to do. He thinks he knows all the answers to solve all the problems. He thinks he knows, but he's going too fast. You know, he feels too desperate. I know that feeling. I want to fix abortion. I want to fix gun violence. I want to fix everything. Sometimes you go too fast and you don't see the dangers in the road. And so the donkey opens Bilam's eyes and he sees there's an angel there with a sword and he would have been killed by it if he had kept on the path he was on. So the donkey teaches him to open his eyes. And so when he gets to the mountaintop and he's ready to curse the people, either there's some kind of sorcery that happens that turns that curse into a blessing or what I like to think that he slowed down. He took his time. He looked into the tents of Israel and something he saw there, some kindness that he saw, you know, and sometimes the rabbis say, these are the tents, you know, standing under our, our taluses, trying to find that God place within us, taking the time on Shabbat to worship together, to learn together, slowing down allowed Bilam to look into the tents. And instead of a curse, he gave us this blessing. And this is the way we welcome each other every Shabbat morning, wherever you are. Wherever you are, all over the world, you know, you, we welcome each other with these words from the prophet Bilam. A blessing instead of a curse. Page 52. You know, uh, Did I miss anything in the story? You know, Susie. What, Jimmy? Remember where this melody comes from? Ah, I do. I do. Let me give you a little lesson about trans transitioning melodies. Yeah, this is a great story about just not even just the words, but also the melody. There's a piece missing in this mystery story. There's a piece missing. But it's, you can track it through the melody. The melody belongs to an old, a song that has been passed down to us in um, Yiddish and Ukrainian and Hebrew. And it was like a, a story song. I can sing a little bit of what I remember. I'll sing the Hebrew part. A voice in the forest. Um, a geschrei, a Yiddish, a geschrei und a gewalt, gewalt, und a gepilde, a Vater in Wald, a daddy in the woods, durch seine Kinder, calling for his children. Then the chorus. I Always three times. I The story through the song is the father is calling for his children and the children calling for his father and they're separated from each other in the forest. And they can't quite find each other. They can't quite connect. So in the last verse, the last verse 
that I know that's been passed as far as I know. The last verse belongs to the children, and the children say something very smart. They say, after they're calling for each other and can't quite connect, the children in the last verse says, look, if you want to connect with us, why do you make it so difficult? You know? Why the forest? Why the hiddenness? And of course, it's, it's a very spiritual story, you know. Why do you make it so difficult? Why the difficulty of connection, the difficulty of approach, the languages of approach? All, why do you make it so hard? And that's where it ends. It's a really interesting song. How, how the melody came attached to this text, I don't know. But this is common in our tradition, that an older melody gets transported to a text of another place in another geographical place. This happens here, I think, in this country, that this melody gets attached to this text. I don't think it happened there. It happens here. So here's the, here's the whole deal <laughs> in Mato. Always three times, by the way. The chorus. Because it's a mystical song. And each time we do the chorus, it's supposed to push it further down within. Each time the chorus, the idea comes further down. Further down. Until it rests in your kishkis. Now let's start quietly. Now let's start hard first. I da 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 Before we dive into prayer, um, we offer up Psalm 150 on page 56. Let me see it.
If my mouth could sing like the sea, my heart expressed like the waves, if my arms spread forth like the eagles of heaven and my lips could express, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In spite of everything we praise, hallelujah. takes 150 psalms to get to this place. <laughs> hallelujah, we get there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 <clears throat> with drums and dance and cymbals clanging, with the oud and the harp, hallelujah, 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 let everything that breathes thank and praise God. Let everything that breathes thank and praise God. Hallelujah. Page 59, if you're able, we invite you to rise so we can call each other to prayer with the words of the Barakuk. of the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu 
Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai song, our protest song, our miracle song, our deliverance song. We call it the redemption, you know, the, when, what's the, what is redemption in Judaism? <coughs> it's the opposite of galut, exile. So as long as we are moving toward each other, toward something better, together, working somehow together, and no one is left out. We'll keep moving forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mikamocha ba'elim Adonai Mikamocha nedar ba'kodesh norati lo so <laughs> Adonai lo leolam voel Adonai lo Adonai lo Adonai lo leolam voel Adonai lo Israel, 
Go alenu Adonai tseva ochemu kedosh Yisrael. Baruch ata Adonai ga'am Yisrael. Ben Miriam Ha Nivia, the, the prophetess. She took a drum in her hand and we followed her with drums and dancing. And Miriam, 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 she chanted with us. Shiru le Adonai ki ga'o ga'a. Shiru le Adonai ki ga'o ga'a. Shiru le Adonai ki ga'o If you're able, please rise with us as we begin the tefillah. Adonai sefatai tiftach. Oh Adonai sefatai, open up my lips so that my mouth might speak a little poetry. Adonai sefatai tiftach, tiftach, tiftach. So my lips might speak a little poetry, Susie, you know. I'm waiting for a little poetry to come out of my lips, Susie. Adonai, Sifatai. I'm trying to prepare the space. Tiftach, 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 tiftach. Open up my lips that my mouth might speak a little poetry. A little economy of language. You know what I'm saying, Susie? Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avotenu Vimotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzhak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Leah Elohe Rachel Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El Elyon Gomel Hasatim Tovim Bekone Hakol Bezoher Hasteavot Fe Imahor Ume Vige Ulaliv Nevene Ham Laman Shemobi Ahava Melech Ozer Umoshia Umake Baruchata Adonai Makin Abraham Ve Ezra Tsara Ata gibur le'olam Adonai, mechaye ha'kol atarav lehoshia, mechalkel chayim bechesed, mechaye ha'kol verachamim rabim, somech noflim verofech olim, umatir asurim, umekayim emunato. Lishenei afar Michamo chabaal kivarot Umidome lach Melech vemit 
chayei u'matzmiach Yeshua v'ne'eman atalech achayot hakol baruch ata Adonai mechayei hakol another bonya melody to help us fill the spaces between us with holiness. Page 74. 74. Kadesh Shimcha Baola Kishem Shimakti Shimoto Bishme Marum Kakatu Valyad Neviecha Bekara Zel Zevi Amar Kadosh 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 Adonai Tzvahor Melocho Adirenu Adonai Adonenu Madir Shimcha Bechol Haaretz Baruch Yevor Adonai Mimkomo Bechadu Eloheinu Avinu Malkeinu Humoshiyeinu Vehu Yashmiyeinu Adonai le'olam Eloha'ich Zion Nedor v'ador Alleluia Ledor v'ador Nagid go'lecha Ulenetzach Nitzachim Kedushelcha Nagdish Lushimcha Ha'eloheinu service, you're beginning to feel that promise hey, Julie. of Vayina Fash, of kind of feeling a little bit more soul renewal. So many things kind of suck the life out of us these days. <laughs> but it's illusion. You know, that's the other thing about this Torah portion. The King Balak asks Bilam to put a curse on the Jewish people, on the Israelites, the tribe, because he thinks that they're going to use up all his grazing space and there won't be enough for him and his people. And, you know, we learn from that that there is an illusion of scarcity. You know? Yes, an illusion of scarcity. The truth is there's always enough. We just have to know how to share. <laughs> it's one of those kindergarten lessons, right? There's enough for everyone. We just have to know how to make space for each other. Bishamru, resold. The soul is there. Everything we have is there. We just kind of forget sometimes the illusion, delusion of scarcity. We get it back on Shabbat. Thank you. 
Shamiru Vinay Israe Eta Shabbat Eta Shabbat Lasso Eta Shabbat Ledoro Tamberito Lam Veni Ven Bene Israe O Tile Lam O Tile Lam Kisheshet Yami Masadona את השמיים ואת הארץ וביום השביעי שבת וינפש שבת וינפש שבת וינפש You know the children of Israel so keep the Shabbos Observing it generation it's like a covenant for all time it is a sign it is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel for in six days the eternal one made the heavens and the earth and on the seventh day God rested God breathed the soul into creation God breathed the soul into creation God breathed the soul into creation Page 78, right in the middle. It's the wonderful part of this gratitude prayer that again says, grace, mercy. It's always there. Sometimes we can't feel it, but it's there. Ato ki lo khalu Racha racha mecha Vea merache Ato ki lo khalu Racha racha mecha Shalom Tova Uvracha 
Sim shalom tova uvracha goodness and blessing Sim shalom tova uvracha Ein vachese verachani in silence with the prayers that are here, <coughs> the prayers in our own hearts, for just a moment of personal silent prayer. Shalom, 
Paula, would you like to take the Torah from the Ark today? Come on. I haven't seen Paula in a while. Nobody reads Torah like Paula, right? So we'll ask the congregation to rise so we can begin the Torah service. yesterday and it's going to get hung in the next few weeks what do you think so every time we open the ark we'll see the bling so it's the four elements and then in the center it's a chamsa and it is the, the secret garden of pardes the levels of Torah study there's a lot of a lot of teachings, a lot of meta, a lot of, like the floor, the same artist, Siona Benjamin. But I thought since it just came yesterday, you guys should be the first to see it. Here it is. It's gonna take us a little while to figure out how to. So Paul, you wanna open the ark with me and imagine seeing that as we open the ark. So Paul, I'm gonna give you this Torah to walk around with. As you know, is our survivor Torah, survivor of the Holocaust. It lets us know that nothing, right? We can't. There's ever we can overcome, and the good in us eventually will win. So we sing together. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai. Thank you. 
I've been around the world in a plane. Thank goodness it didn't pick up the song. <laughs> After I'm gone, it'd be a big embarrassment. So, uh, yes, so uh, the first words that we say when we walk into the synagogue in the morning is preserved for us every, every day when we walk in. Ma tovu ohalecha Yaakov mishkenotecha Yisrael, how beautiful your tents, you know. Um, O oh, Israel, O oh, people, people of Jacob, Israel, places, your dwelling places. So this is the third attempt of uh, Bilam. He's brought to curse, and uh, he's a prophet from the north. What kind of prophet is he, we wonder? In the portion, it tells us he has one eye. He's a prophet with one eye open, you know. He's that kind of prophet. With one eye, he sees the good. With the other eye, he sees everything, you know. He's that kind of prophet, from Detroit, he's from Detroit. So Bilam is, uh, we try to understand what kind of prophet is he, is he a mystery prophet. Uh, he doesn't see, in the story that Susie told, he doesn't see the angel in the road and is instructed by his animal, his beautiful animal, his animal has served him so well, you know, his, his yoked beast, his beautiful animal. So what kind of prophet is he? You know, we wonder, and he's, uh, he's not among us, you know, he's, but he has the power. He has the power. That's always clear in the story. He has the power. And you know, it's something to distinguish who has it and who doesn't has it because, have it because there are many pretenders about. Many pretenders. Many persons of posture that don't have the power. Bilam had the power. That we understand. Let's make the bracha together. Bahu et Adonai. Baruch Adonai Vorach Elam Vae. Baruch et Adonai. Elohim Melech Aulam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Amin. Benatanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai no Tina Torah. Amen, Amen, Amen. Vayar Balak, Ben Sipur, Eid, Kolashera Sa Israel, Le Emori. And children of Israel, let's see here. Du, 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 du. Um, Balak, the son of Sipur, saw all that Israel has done to the Amorites, the people of Amori. Vayagor Moab, oh. Moav mipne ha am o kihirav hu vayakots Moab mipne Yisrael and Moab was certainly afraid of the people because we were many and Moab was uh, completely distressed because of the children of uh, Israel vayomer Moab elzikne Midian Moab said to the elders of Midian. Ata now, Yelahahu, Nahahav, et kos vivote nu, kihole hasho e dire kasade, Valak mensipur, Melech le Moab ba et hahi. And Moab said to the elders of Midian, Now shall this company. It's <laughs> a strange word. Lick up all that are round about us, as uh, an animal licks up the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Zippor, he was the king. He was the king of the Moabites at that time. Oh boy. Vayishlach Malachim, and he sent messengers. 
Bilaham ben Peor, including unto Bilam, the son of Beor. Beor, Petora, towards the land of Petor. Asher al Hanachar Eretz Bnei, and this is the people that call him, they call him the the river of the land of the children of his people, and they called him saying, there is a people. Behold, there is a people that have come from Egypt. They cover the face of the earth, and they, um, they are dwelling over us. We haven't been able to conquer them. And come now, please, therefore, please, Ara, and I pray, help me curse this people. <laughs> because they are more than us. They are stronger than us. They are mighty. And maybe, maybe I can prevail over them this way so that we can take them this way. And I who you bless, I know that you who bless is blessed, and who you curse, I know is cursed, because you have you're the real you have the power. He's the real deal. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful thing that teak, the case. Yeah, I, it's lovely. <clears throat> So I have some pieces about Bilam. Um, all of these are based on uh, tradition, uh, on our, our uh, commentaries, trying to deal with who is this character? You know, who is he? Does he have the real power? What kind of power does he have? And uh, his gift. He has a gift for us. He has a blessing to us. But as you heard from the reading, he also has the power to curse. So he's serious. However, other places in our tradition were taught that he doesn't, nobody has that power, and we're already blessed. And he doesn't have the power to curse unless we curse ourselves. Only we have that power. So these pieces are all built on these commentaries that are dealing with who is this Bilam. Part one, justice. I think he was a real prophet, though I don't think he spoke God. That's, that's what a prophet does. A prophet is a mouthpiece for God. I think he was a real prophet, though I don't think he spoke God. That is, he didn't bless, he didn't curse. 
He didn't have the power of either. Words do not curse. There is no such power. Still, we will defeat ourselves if left alone. Nor did he have the power to bless. We were already blessed. Something missing in his vision, don't you know? He was blind in one eye. He was missing the eye that sees his own smallness. With his good eye, he saw the greatness of God. He was that kind of prophet. Part two, waiting. The text doesn't say outright that the donkey made human sounds. Surely the presence of God communicated to Bilam through the donkey, as if the animal had spoken, or maybe it was all a vision. This from Maimonides. Maybe it was all a vision. The mouth on that donkey, another of the 10 miracles created in the in-between time, not the six days, not the Sabbath either, between the suns, between time, part day knowledge, part night knowledge, built into creation at the mystery time, miracles to appear when necessary, like saving science, the cures we are waiting for, the peace we are praying for too, when we howl, hey, we're waiting here, hurry, something wonderful created, but not yet present, like the mouth of Bilam's donkey speaking. When it came time for that animal to speak, it spoke. So I'd like to finish up with a, a set of experimental prayers I've ri I've ri I'm writing called kinetic prayers. They're physical. So I'm going to ask you to participate with me in this kinetic prayer as a, to finish um, the story of Bilam for the day. This is for the influencers. Who are the influencers? Our influencers. It's a prayer from the hands. Make a conduit with your hands. A conduit. Make them round. You are roundness this way. A conduit, the circle, not linear, round. Ezekiel calls it the wheel within the wheel. When you're round, you can support as if, if you fall, I will support you. Supporting the fallen, this is God in all of us, the circle of spiritual aspiration to comfort. You can be nouns in relation, the connection of nouns, what you belong to. Hello, nouns. We belong to each other. You may get to be a door, a door that opens onto skill and enthusiasm, artful and healing. You may get to be a connection through the hands, giving over the substance one vessel to another when once the chain had been broken. Look through the circle of your hands. Receive through it the interrupted connection, what you give to others, like your teachers who gave to you inspirations, influences. Let your own hands be a conduit for repair and growth and skill, passing through your welcoming hands. Express thank you. Be a student all your life. Get a good teacher. Be a good teacher.
Jim. Let's offer a mishaberach. Lots of people to pray for. Lots of people to pray for. So is there anyone here that would like to offer a name, lift up a name of someone to pray for? Yeah, Ray. Thank you. Pray for him. Oh, hi, Eva. Yeah, always praying for your daughter. Thank you, dear. Good to see you. Missed you. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, Larry. Julia Day. Julia Day, thank you. Anybody else have a name here? Are there names on the stream, Autumn? Yes, we have Mindy Kaiser, Shirley Ernst, Corey Powell, and Xavier Ernst. Thank you. We pray for them. We also have um, many names of people who have that we've been praying for. Meredith Berkowitz, we pray she heals. Eileen Ehrlich, we miss her. Sammy Schoss and Margie Katz and Ruth Goff. Vara Krop, Joan Butcher, Marvin Crane, Janet Cunningham, Simon Ramoser Clunch, Hannah Kayla Bat Saralea, Ari Iris, Mary Holt, Susan Fadem, Panina Bat Devora, Michael and Kathy Davenport, Chris, Chris Kleindienst, Toby Schreiber, Deborah Ozerinsky, Dormarian Poe, Michael Michelle, Rick Isserman, we're praying for you, Rick. Um, and Ruth Rosenberg and Lori Bliss, Jack Samuel Geller, Elon Nissenboim, continued healing, Benjamin Jonathan. I know there are lots of people who, um, yeah, Paula. Uh, for your mama, for Joan, for the healer to be healed. Thank you. Yes, we pray for her. Yeah, Harry. For Bert Newman, yeah. We did mention Debbie. Thank you so much. Yeah. Did I see you? Anybody? Anybody else? So for those whose hearts are broken, for those whose bodies are bruised, for those who are fighting cancer and Alzheimer's and other diseases, COVID, this terrible COVID spike that we are in now, um, we pray for people who have been injured, caught in the crossfire of the violence in, in, our, in our world. All the people that we hold in our hearts, we send to them, the ones named and unnamed, a Misha Berach, a healing prayer. What will we take upon us? What will we take upon us now that our souls are renewed when we leave Shabbat and enter into the week? What challenges? There are a number of ways to serve. You know, there's all kinds of ways that we can help people who are 
fighting the terrible abortion bans across our country and especially in our state. Lots of ways to um, engage in fighting for gun, common sense gun laws that we know we need. And we have an opportunity on Tuesday to do a training um, for, for those people who are interested in helping people who don't have photo IDs. We're going to do a training Tuesday. It'll be the first of a few trainings. Um, and we're going to train people to go to different area, different health fairs and, and back to school stores and places. Uh, churches are, are, are working with us and um, we're going to be able to, with uh, our own smartphones and computers, be able to get people the things they need to be able to have a photo ID with outstanding on the endless lines of the DMV. <laughs> so we're going to try to help people who have to work and who really don't have access um, get what they need just in case this law that is a law in Missouri, the governor signed it, it is being disputed by our own Denise Lieberman and her wonderful team. But in case, um, it, it, it won't go into effect for August, but it, it just might go into effect for November. So we're going to be ready to have as many people have photo ideas as, as possible, so everybody gets to vote. So lots of opportunities to serve, lots of ways to take prayer and give it feet and wings and make it happen. So the Elenu says, what are we going to take upon us to transform uh, this broken world into a better place? for everyone. So if you're able, if you'd like to, please rise with us. And we face Jerusalem, and as we said, today, tonight begins the three weeks where we mourn for the destruction of Jerusalem because there's a teaching that says that when Jerusalem, the city of peace, really knows peace, it will spread and the whole world. You know, if it can, it's kind of like if it can happen there, it can happen anywhere. So for the peace of Jerusalem in these next three weeks as we um, go from the 17th of Tammuz to the 9th of Av. And every Monday and Thursday at 9 o'clock at night, Jim and I will be uh, teaching from the Book of Lamentations online. So that's our next teaching adventure. Aleinu l'shabet l'adon hato Tishamayim veyoset aretz Umoshev yikaro beshamayim imaal Ushkrin atuzo, ushkrin atuzo Begov he meromim U Eloheinu ein od Emet malkeinu efesulato Kakatu Betorato, Vedata Hayom, Vedata Hayom, Vashevota, Eliva Vecha, Ki Adonai, Uha Elohim, Bashamai, Bima, Ve Al Haretz, Ve Al Haretz, Mihita.
Please be seated. So I was curious um, <clears throat> that, you know, about these stories in the Torah. Um, are they fairy tales, you know? Are they, you know, our triumph over wicked enemies like the story of Esther and, and Maccabees and even this story of, of Bilam? But the truth is we, we there, there are references to a King Balak in 9th century BCE texts, you know. There are even um, references to uh, Bil'am in um, ancient texts as well. So have we appropriated these real people, and made them our own, given them our own stories, kind of told them in our own way? Or did it really happen that way? And you know, I, I wonder with technology and with all the writing that we do and all of the, w will we know? Will people in the future know <laughs> what's real and what we've imagined? I don't know if we're getting it any better than they did. But we'll see, I guess. Hopefully, there'll be, still be people around <laughs> to tell the stories. And I think that's so important when we think about memory. We think about remembering our loved ones. That we still tell their stories too. We tell these stories, you know, each, each week and they, they inspire us. Let the stories of our loved ones who we have come to remember, let them inspire us as well. Grief is a funny thing, you know? It hurts so hard. But denial is even worse. Not feeling it seems to be even worse, my experience. So when, when, when you know, people try to fix my pain, it's okay. I'm attached to my pain. I'm attached to my grief. It's real. It's a testament to my love. And I can live with it. I can live with it. So we have these three weeks, especially now, to do all of our grieving, because if we don't do this work, then we won't be ready for the new year. So those of you who have come to say Kaddish, let's hear the names of the wonderful people that you carry in your hearts. Um, do you want to rise first? Can you stand first so that we can remember them with you? Who died six days apart because they just couldn't stand to not be with each other. Oh God, I hope it's a blessing for them. I know how hard it was for their family, for you, your family. May their beautiful memories be a blessing. I've been talking about them so much because, you know, Brooklyn comes up all the time. And, you know, your dad was such a powerhouse in the education system of Brooklyn. And, of course, your parents lived where my parents lived, on Long Island. So we have a lot of, a lot of connections. I, I feel their presence here. Thank you. And they were born two weeks apart, and they died six days apart. And they loved each other dear. They were, you know, if you think about a couple match made in heaven, they were made in heaven. So grateful they had each other and so grateful that you brought them here so that we could get to know them as well. Thank you. Thank you, Howie. Appreciate it. May their memories be a blessing. Eva. I know. We make space just to hold, to hold it with you. May his memory be a blessing. And it's hard to think about 
not remember your mother too. I know she's a presence in your life, even though she died when you were very young. I'm, so, thank you. May his memory be a blessing. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming. Hope all the kids are well. Yeah. What? Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> are we getting older? I don't know. What's happening here? What's happening here? We started out, we were so young. Now we all get grandkids. It's great. It's great. Marlene? Thank you. Oh, David Kaskowitz. Gosh, we've been thinking of it. Today's the Shloshim, you know, it's his, the month since he's gone. So thank you for remembering him. Great artist, wonderful person. Sus? Julius. I'm sorry. Thank you. Too young. Thank you. Thanks for remembering with us. For Sue's brother, thank you. Yeah, may his memory be a blessing. Let's stand together with our mourners to let them know that they don't stand alone. I see. I do see some names here. Actually, I was able to get. Ah, oh, I see Virginia Horowitz. Are you really here with us? How wonderful! Gosh, Virginia and Larry. So many good people on the stream. Gosh, I always forget to look. It's so good to see all of you. So Debbie Townsend says, remember Johnny Townsend, Ruby Brewer, Leona Phillips, Jean uh, Glenn, Anne Hudson, Richard Hudson. Uh, three months since Salome lost uh, her friend next door, Lori. Uh, may her memory be a blessing. Charlie Brewer, Prince Nicholson. Um, have I missed anybody else on the list? Autumn? That's all of them. Okay, great. Thank you. And of course, we have the yard sites here uh, Dolores Sachs, Maxine Stevenson, of course, Julia Spiegel, we mentioned, Rosalie Crojanker, um, Karen Margot, uh, David Yaffe, um, Steve McAllister. Remember Steve McAllister? Blessed memory. We talked about him last night a little bit. Did I miss somebody else? Here. Um, Mark Maloney. And Samuel Moses Rosenthal. Remember when that baby died? And we did his, his funeral. Uh, Shirley Diamond and Shirley Sherman. Karen Margo. Uh, Allison Abitz and Josie Abitz, Linda Holtzman, uh, Samuel Nussbaum, Kyle Courier, John Proletsky, and Pat Denlow, Ruth Gustorf, Susan Carlson, Selena Green, Arthur Lash, Shirley Petitia, Aubrey Yowitz, uh, Faye Zimmerman, Al Baker, Renee Deal, Martin and Francis Illavicki, of course. George Newman, Nina Balsam, Betty Renee Marver, Alice Handelman, Sylvia Ginsparg, David Kaskowitz, we've mentioned, Larry Mange, and most recently, Bill Weiner, Mark's cousin. For all of these good people, um, we say the words of the Kaddish. We pray that they lift us and help us honor their memories by living more fully and loving more fiercely. We stay together. Yit Kadal, Viyit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, Be'alma Divra, Hirute, Vi'amlich Machute, V'chayachon, V'yomachon, V'chayedachol, Be' Yisrael, Ba'agala, V'izman, Kari, Ve'imru, Amen. He Shemei Rabbah, Mevarach, Le'olam, Omei, Omaya, Yit Barach, Viyit Tabak, Viyit Pa'ar, Viyit Romam, Viyit Nase, Viyit Hadar, Viyit Tale, Viyit Talal, Shme de Kudusha Brihu, Laela, Min Kol Birchata, Vishirata, Tushbachata, Venechamata, Zaami Ran, Bielma, Veim Romain, Ehe Shloma Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vechayim, Aleno Vial Kol Yisrael, Veim Ru, Amen. 
Ose shalom b'mrumav, hu yaase shalom, aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael, v'yal kol yoshvei tevel, v'imru, amen. May the source of peace truly bring peace to you who mourn and comfort to those who are bereaved among us as we say together, amen. give each other a blessing. I, I think I saw that there's Kiddush and Hala out there. I'm not sure. I don't know what the rules are anymore. I just know we got to stay safe, keep each other safe. But um, with masks on, I think it's safe to give each other a blessing. Um. May God bless you and guard over you and keep you safe. May the light of God's love flow through you and show you grace. May all that is good and high and holy inspire us to be vessels of God, bringing the worlds closer together so that we slow down, so that we can be the bearers of the blessings and have more peace in our hearts, our homes, our community, and our planet. We say amen. And Shabbat Shalom. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Join us outside and we'll make a little kiddush. And once again, thanks to um, Autumn and thanks to all the people who joined us on the live stream. Shabbat Shalom.